So what we've got here is the brand new uh, Shogun from Atomus. So this is our new 4K recorder. It's just an absolute beast. So what you got is the, uh, you're going uh, up to 30p in on release. We've got another firmware update that's coming out free at the end of the year. That will be our 60p, up to 60p recording. 4K, 60p, it's unbelievable, right? So you get the ProRes, you got DNX HD. Uh, you can go all sorts of flavors of ProRes, HQ, LT, 422, and then you'll be able to do 444 on our second release, our second firmware release at the end of the year. Uh, you've got all the triggering, file naming, time code comes in, all that sort of stuff that makes it really, really easy to use. You've got monitoring, you've got punch in, so you can focus, nail the focus on that. You've got two to one, you've got one to one. Uh, the whole screen, you have enough space for 1080p for the video, and you've got extra down here so you don't have all your menus without overlaying over the top of the video. Uh, you've got playback, you've got uh, everything you need to have uh, for your monitoring, for your recording. We'll be able to record to SSDs off the shelf, so there's no proprietary media. You can do a uh, spinning disk, we'll have a rated solution, so that way you can keep up with, the, uh, with all the data rates in there and still use, you can get two terabytes for, you know, what, 100 euro. Uh, they've got uh, how much time you have remaining, two terabytes, about about 400 uh, gigabytes an hour uh, at the highest ProRes recording in 4K, uh, 30p. So you've got five hours for two terabytes. Unbelievable. So you've got the uh, battery coming in. You've got the uh, DC input for power. You've got a Limo breakout, so you can do uh, totally professional audio solution. You've got the, uh, it'll have two XLRs in, two XLRs out. It's got a preamp included for, uh, so you can do uh, mic level as well as line level. It's got phantom power. Uh, you've got HDMI in, you've got HDMI out. You have HDSDI in, HDSDI out, gen lock out for a studio playback scenario. Uh, let's see, you've got the, uh, the screen is calibratable, it's calibrated out of the factory. You can keep it in calibration over the course of, uh, over the course of, course of its life with, uh, we've got a collaboration with uh, Data Color Spiders, so put it right on top and keep it in Rec. 709. We'll have 3D LUTs available on the uh, 6.1 firmware, uh, which will allow you to uh, monitor. We've got RAW coming out, so the C500, the FS700, You'll have uh, raw capture decode. You'll go to Cinema DNG, which is a, uh, it's a lossless uh, compression. Uh, and you'll be able to use your 3D LUTs on top so you can monitor in, uh, and you won't have to look through the linear uh, color space. Uh, this is the uh, A7S, which has a 4K out. So these two together, you have an unbelievable combination. It's something like this with the cost combined. It, Nobody would have dreamed about it. Nobody would have dreamed you could get something like this for this cost. Uh, below too, we have the power station so that you can run both uh, your uh, recorder and your camera from one place and very small. Continuous power so you, have, uh, you can monitor your uh, battery life here. One goes out, you pull it, you got the other one to maintain your power, swap in the new battery, you're good to go. You got a DC in to charge, you got a D two DC out, to go, yeah, from your camera to your recorder. And then you've even got USB. The, uh, the A7S can be charged by USB. Or you can go, uh, if your iPhone's running out of battery, boom, pop it in there. Trick Rick.